Michael Vey is on his most dangerous journey in the latest installment of the best-selling series. My name is Michael Vey. Best-selling author Richard Paul Evans from our backyard in Salt Lake City stopped by Boise this week to give us a look at this book, Michael Vey, Storm of Lightning. I'm no longer human. Michael Vey 5 is off to an incredible start. Our first book signing had 3,000 kids came. We, um, it's currently number four nationally on Barnes and Noble and um, the number one teen book and on Amazon it's the number one teen series right now and it's just it, it's explosive it's we just uh, got funding for a pilot to create a TV series and so it's an exciting time for for Vaniacs around the world. While reading this series and waiting for the next book to drop Evan says his fans create their own blogs and their own fan fiction. He says his younger audience is completely different from his adult audience that they create their own worlds around the books. Evans has written 35 books that have been published in 20 different countries, five of which are now for young readers. It's the first book I wrote was called The Christmas Box. And so Michael Bay is a very different kind of thing. It's a thriller, They're the kids with superpowers. Uh, but it's the most fun I've had writing. Evans says he stopped by Boise because it plays a very important part in this book, and not only because the main character, Michael Bay, is from Meridian. Or something is hunting us. And uh, in this book, they actually come back to Boise, and because it, they have to uh, rescue one of the kids' mothers who's been arrested by the Boise police. And so a lot happens here in Boise, and they're watching a newscast, and it's Gretchen Hawley, which is two of your anchors, uh, Carolyn Hawley and Gretchen Anderson, who coincidentally I went to high school with and was on the newspaper staff with, um, gosh, many years ago, back in high school. Originally, Evans based the book in Salt Lake, but was concerned it would come across as a religious-based book, which he says it isn't. So he found a location similar to the town he lives in now. So let's move to Boise because I spent a lot of time in Boise. I have a lot of fans up in Boise. And then I had to look at where do they start high school in ninth grade, and that was Meridian High. And that's how yeah, Michael ended up in Meridian. Although the Michael Bay sci-fi series is a new and different style for Evans, he says his characters have a positive message for readers. It's this power inside of us that is more than our disabilities, that is more than our weaknesses. And so I find kids at every book signing who feel empowered by Michael, and whether they're being bullied at school, or they have Tourette syndrome, or have autism, and I believe me, at my signs I have kids who are suffering, and it gives them power. It gives them a sense of empowerment, and it also makes them feel like they can go out and do something great with their lives. Michael Bay's Storm of Lightning hit shelves this weekend. For Idaho's News Channel 7, I'm Rhiannon Cochran.